In the previous movie, we saw how to apply a displace space warp in order to deform a terrain plane using a height map. And additionally, that deformation or displacement is happening in world space. And that gives us the ability to position, rotate, and set parameters for the plane to optimize polygon counts so that we've concentrated all of the detail within the camera's field of view. You can see in the top viewport of the scene here, I've got a camera and this terrain object is positioned and rotated so that it's filling the camera field of view. And if we go over to the perspective view with the move tool, we can move that terrain around and you can see that the displacement is stuck to the world. No matter where we move that object, the displacement remains the same. However, the material on the object is not being applied in world space. And as I move that object around, we can see the texture sort of swimming in the camera viewport here. Well, we can easily set this up so that the image of the bitmap is projected in world space as well. And that is done with a modifier called camera map that projects UVs from a camera object. So we need a camera for that. Let's create one. Go to the create panel and choose cameras. And we'll just do a standard free camera. Click free. And in the top viewport, click to create the camera. And it's going to be facing downward. Right click to exit the tool. It's very important for registration that the camera be positioned at X and Y values of zero because we need the UV projection to line up with the height map, which is represented here by this displaced space warp. With the new camera still selected, I'll use the move tool and give it an X position of zero and a Y position of zero also. And while I'm here, I want to position the camera up in elevation. And I'll set the Z elevation to 2,500 meters. Dolly back in the left view with a mouse wheel and position with the middle mouse button. And that camera's way up here. With that camera still selected, let's go to the modify panel and rename it because this is not a renderable camera. This is a camera that's merely here to project UVs. So we'll change the name to Camera Projector. And in the parameters for that camera, you'll find the target distance. You might need to scroll around a little bit, but here it is, target distance. And I want the UVs that are projected, once again, to line up exactly with this height map. So I'll set the target distance to 2,500 meters to match the elevation of the camera. And now the cone or frustum of the camera ends exactly at an elevation of zero. And that way I'll know if the camera frustum is aligned properly with the height map or not. And I can also enable show cone here. Scroll back up here, enable show cone so that the frustum will be visible even if the camera is not selected. So I can deselect it. Also to register with the existing height map, I'll need to rotate the camera. So select that camera and use the rotate tool and give it a Z rotation of 90 degrees. Okay, so that's now set up. We can add the world space modifier for the camera map. Okay, so the camera is basically set up and now let's apply a modifier to the terrain object to project UVs from that camera. Select the terrain object and in the modify panel from the modifier list, choose camera map WSM or world space modifier. Once that's applied, we need to pick which camera we're projecting from. Click on pick camera and then select the camera in the viewport. And now we can see that the mapping has changed. And if we now select the terrain object and move it around, we have basically what we want, which is that the mapping is occurring in world space. 
just like the displacement is occurring in world space. However, you can see there are some seams here and there are a few other issues we need to address. So let's select that camera once again. And we need to increase the field of view here until the camera frustum exactly fills the area of the height map, which is once again represented by this displace space warp. I can click and drag on FOV or field of view. And you can see as we do that, we're increasing the scale of the UV projection. And it just so happens in this case that I need an FOV of exactly 90 degrees. So type in 90. Okay, and we can tumble around or orbit in the perspective view with alt and middle mouse. And we're almost there. We've got the projection occurring in world space and it's basically mapping onto the height map the way we want it to. However, there's one little quirk with 3ds Max, which is that this camera projection modifier or camera map assumes that the material or map uses a two to one aspect ratio. And that's not what we have here. It's actually a square map and we'll need to adjust something in the material editor to fix that. So go to the material editor and we've got the terrain material here. You can navigate around with the middle mouse button if you need to. So here's that terrain material and it's got two bitmaps attached to it. Double click the diffuse terrain bitmap and we just need to change the V tiling value. It's got a default value of one. Let's position our view so we can see this happening. We can play around with this tiling value, drag that up or down. You can see what that does. It's actually stretching the material or stretching the mapping. Let's set the tiling to 0.5 for that diffuse map. And we'll need to do the same for the bump map too. So double click on that bump terrain map and set its V tiling value to 0.5 as well. All right, we can close the material editor. And now we're completely set up. The plane object can be moved and positioned anywhere in the scene to match the camera field of view. And the displacement is occurring in world space. And the mapping or UV coordinates are also being projected in world space from that camera that we created up here. And that's how to use a camera map to project UVs in world space.